I'm Athena Angeli. Welcome to Such Good Dogs. Today we're going to talk about how to introduce your dog to a new tool such as a collar, a slip lead, a head collar, a muzzle, and a little bit about muzzle training. So this is Miss Ahsoka and we have some stuff with us today. Mainly I wanted to go over muzzle training because I've had a lot of clients asking me about that lately, but you're going to do the same kind of thing for everything else new that you introduce to your dog. So we're going to start with the muzzle today. This is one that'll fit Miss Ahsoka here. Um, you can measure and look, you know, the packaging has measuring on it to find the right size for your dog. This is what you're always going to do. Have your yummy, yummy, yummy treats, whatever your dog loves. And you want to make your dog put their own mouth or face into the new tool that you're going to use, such as the muzzle. So I'm going to hold it like this and hold the treat on the other side. So she has to put her nose through it and give her the treat. Not going to snap it on right away. We're just going to practice this a few times. So she puts her nose in and she gets the treat on the other side. She puts her nose in, she gets the treat on the other side. Oh, that was a chewy one. Okay, practice this several times so your dog is comfortable putting their nose into the muzzle. If you notice they're still really hesitant, stay on this step for a little bit longer. She's comfortable, she's used to doing stuff like this. So once they get comfortable, put the nose in, you're gonna go ahead and snap it might need to resize at some point. Then while it's on, rapid feed a bunch of treats while they're wearing the muzzle. So they don't even have time to think about this thing on my face. I'm just getting lots of yummy, yummy treats. Okay. Lots and lots of yummy, yummy treats while it's on. Good girl, good girl. And then we're gonna go ahead and take it off. That's how we very first introduce the muzzle. Do this several times with just a minute or 30 seconds with the muzzle on with rapid feeding treats until your dog gets more comfortable and then you're going to start adding a little bit of time to that from one minute to two minutes and five minutes and so on and so on until you can use this as you may need it for muzzle training. Now same thing is going to apply for anything else. Here I have a head collar um, similar to like what a horse bridle would be something that goes over the nose and clips behind the ears on your dog. This is great for controlling a dog who is a little bit reactive or a little overexcited or kind of all over the place. This is actually hers. So same thing. This is the loop that goes over the nose. So I'm going to put the treat on the opposite side. So she puts her nose in to get the treat. Okay. Same thing again. We're going to do that a couple of times. She puts her nose in. Once she gets comfortable, I'm going to go ahead and snap it. Once it's on there, because it's something new, they're gonna try and paw it off at first, right? That's why we do the rapid feed while it's on. This way we're creating a positive association to these tools. You don't want your dog to fear these tools. These tools are here to help you make sure your dog is comfortable with them. Okay, same thing, rapid feed with it on. Oh, another chewy one. Do this a couple of times until your dog gets used to it before you actually just go out and use it on a walk. Now some of you have dogs who wear harnesses. This is actually Ahsoka's car harness, but the same thing still applies. If your dog has never put something like this on, we don't want to just chase them and throw it on them because then it freaks them out and becomes a negative experience. So again, her head goes through here, right? So she puts her head through it on her own. Good girl, good girl. And then I would obviously belt it together and everything. Feed while it's on, leave it on for a couple minutes while I give a bunch of treats, and then go ahead and take it off. Do that a couple of times so your dog gets comfortable with it before you start using it. Something that I use a lot, especially with new clients, is what's called a slip lead. This is a very, very the simplest form of slip lead, which is just, there's a little ring at the bottom that the leash goes through, pull it like this, the dog's head goes in and then it cinches like that. If you are going to use a slip lead, I highly recommend getting one that has like a little cinch on the end. I actually added this to this slip leash. It's just like a little eyeglass thing or whatever. But some slip leads you can find will have a cinch that comes with it already on there. So same thing, if this is a brand new tool, I'm gonna open it nice and big. And once again, treat on the opposite side and have her put her head through it. Good girl. Do that a couple of times to get it on. Good girl. And then once it's on, you can cinch it to the appropriate place. Now, if you are using a slip lead, 
it should be positioned all the way high at the top of the neck, kind of almost pretty much on the jaw here. This way you're going to have the best control, this way you're also not going to choke your dog. It's when a slip lead slides down that the dog starts doing that choking thing, right? So the proper position for a slip lead is up here high on the neck. That's why I love having this little thing. So once you get it in that position, it helps keep it in that position and it helps keep it from sliding down. So that's how you introduce your dog to a new tool. Always try and make it a positive experience. Easiest way in the world is whatever yummy thing they like. Introduce it to them at a pace that they're comfortable with. Make it that positive experience and then you'll be able to use your tool without any blowback from your dog. Thanks for watching Such Good Dogs.